I guess a guy's just got to make a little bit of changes as he decides what he's doing with his life when he's not really sure what he's doing. Uh, I'm just trying to make a go at being a, a retired old person and having a good time without having a bunch of worries and headaches and problems. And this seemed to be one way to go. It's a story of my life. Well, I'm a 71-year-old man that decided to heck with paying taxes to the cities and the counties and so I bought me an RV which I own free and clear. I don't got to pay nothing except for the diesel and the propane, the oil and whatever else it needs, tires and so on, which is plenty, that's enough. I don't make a fortune in uh, Social Security. Anyway, <laughs> this is my home. Uh, that's what I have for a home. It's 40 feet long, but it has everything in it. It's got a nice refrigerator, it's got a dishwasher, washer and dryer, king-size bed, bathtub with a shower, nice kitchen, don't really need any more than that. I mean, all the other rooms in a big house is just, you, you fill them full of crap and then there they sit. Somebody wants to come and visit, I have both my couches pull out into beds. So there's room for people to sleep. The table folds down to beds. But being I'm just getting started with this thing, I don't have a lot of extra stuff. I was on Facebook one day, which I shouldn't be. I'm an old man. I should be off of that crap. But I was on there and this lady come on and says, anybody know anybody that wants to sell a house? So I wrote, I do. In three days, my home was sold, but I'd already bought my motor home, figuring this will be a nice thing to run around in. So I live in this one here. Instead of buying another house, I don't pay no taxes, and we don't pay for the water out here, and I pay my son a little bit for electricity, and it's all good. I worked my whole life. I uh, started out as a kid driving tractor for my uncle on his farm and helped milking the cow. Tried to go into school to become a mechanic, which didn't work out. But then the army came along. I uh, did my service in the army and got out. I got put out under other than honorable conditions, which is fine. Uh, I don't get the VA benefits like others. I have tried but there was nothing they could do. I drove truck for many years. In fact, I got my million miles in my truck driver's award. Six days later, I had a wreck. <laughs> that ended that. And when I retired, I was maintenance supervisor at an apartment complex. Uh, the only problems I have is COPD and I know what's gonna kill me now. So that's all good. If you're all ready, we can go inside and look at the mess in there. Uh, I'm a single old man, so, you know, nothing's perfect here. Get out of the way, cat. Silly creature. Just gonna leave the door open. start here in the kitchen and as you can see there ain't much room for much of nothing. All I got is paper plates and plastic cups. These cabinets are still basically there ain't much in them. Uh, a little bit of groceries. Like I said it's got a dishwasher. It's not much but for one person and you know you just got to wash dishes when the dishes get dirty so it does work. It don't leak. Uh, everything works on it. That way you don't gotta stand here when you would be rather doing something else. It's got a gas stove. Sorry about the clutter. But that's fine. Uh, I use this more than anything. The microwave is also a convection oven. I like to make steaks and roasts and stuff. Well, I can do it in here, but in a regular microwave, I wouldn't be able to. When we first come out here with it and parked it, we hooked up to 30 amps and I couldn't get the air conditioners to come on with the refrigerator running. So we had to figure out something else. We disconnected the 30 amp and hooked up to 50 amp. Everything will work. You just can't run it all at once. The two air conditioners can run at once, but if you try like running maybe the dishwasher and the wa the breakers are going to pop because it's, it'll be pulling too much. This refrigerator's got its own little story for it. It has a locking button right there. When you push it, you lock the refrigerator for 24 hours. It can't be opened. I haven't tried it yet. But it's a nice little freezer. Keeps food frozen. And uh, white lightning cold. <laughs> and yeah, it's got uh, plenty of space. And it tells you every time you open it, you can see by the blue lights if it's working or what the temperatures are in the two units. Here I can sit here, eat my meals, breakfast, dinner. A lot of times I eat supper with my son 
and then I can watch the TV back there if I have a movie on. This is one of my favorite spots. My radio don't work too great out here. I can get one station, and that's if I hold on to the antenna. So having this thing, I don't think is a big mistake. Uh, I like it. It's I go out here and shut the door, and I'm in my own little home. You move into the what you want to call a living room, I guess. I don't know. Just a couple of couches, and I have my PlayStation up here in the up in the cabinets, so I can stay busy when it's cold out. Which, as you can see, that's what I was doing here earlier, playing a game, Fallout 4. If anybody wanted to know, this is the only part that changes it actually from uh, mobile home is you can drive it. It's a 1995 Safari Serengeti. It's got a nice diesel motor in the back with 70,000 miles, so it'll run forever. Air conditioning. There's two of them. One little heater that's under the bed here, or the couch, I should say. Well, right now the seat's leaned way back. I wouldn't be able to drive this way, but I've got it leaning back because I play this game up here. This is where I sit most of the time when I'm watching TV, because if I turn around, the TV is right up there. But hey, you can lay down here and watch television. And an old man just loves to lay down. <laughs> You'll see when you get that old. Underneath this here is where my heating system is. It heats good. It just, it's not very big. That's all there is to it. I added this myself because there was just a hole blowing it out underneath. I added that. The heat comes out there. There's a vent in the kitchen. There's a vent in the bathroom. And the vent is right by the dishwasher. And then there's one in the bathroom by the sink. And then there's one in the bedroom. It uses propane. Just like so does the water heater. So does my generator. When it was one degree around here, I really don't want to run out of heat. This couch is actually not supposed to be there. Yeah, this has another special sp specific use. Uh, I had to seal the bottom of it. That's my gun cabinet. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Pistol I got hanging there on the light. That'll hang there when I drive too. Uh, I can shoot out the window just as well as I can shoot off a motorcycle. Um, and then in here is where you hide your... Uh, your laptop so you can slide it out and do your laptop work I'm not going to start it up now um, which makes it kind of handy a little bit of office space there I just wish it had a table you could pull out too so if you're right and you didn't have to go back there come with an ice maker that did even work and then you go back in here it's like I said it's got a bathtub it's a little one but then I'm a little fellow too so I don't need a big one but it's a shower this is the bathroom, storage cabinets for whatever. In that drawer is the washer dryer down there. It does work. It's just uh, I need a new hookup in the back to make it so it don't leak on the floor. Down here it has a, a toilet. We could hook it up, but then it would fill up the holding tank underneath. And then we'd have to unhook everything else, the electricity, the water, to take it somewhere to clean out the holding tank. Which then means I'd have to put water in the gray tank because you want to empty what they call black water first. And then you empty the gray water to kind of rinse out that tube there. So otherwise you're going to be leaving deposits behind. So I got a bag in there. Try to help keep any smell from coming out from what might be down underneath. If there's water in it and then you just step on the lever. The pictures, they came out of the house. They kind of fit in here. It is a bathroom and they are bathtub. This brick wall gets kind of boring looking at just it. Means they put it almost everywhere. I probably will change that myself later on. I also added the shelf and that shelf. There's only so much room in these cabinets and stuff to put things. A lot of this stuff that you see laying around, like this stuff here on the sink, it's crowded, I know. But if I go somewhere, all that stuff will have to get put down in the sink. Otherwise, it's going to end up on the floor. You go around a corner, it'll tip over. It'll fall on the floor, slide off, whatever. Which is fine for me. Uh, it'll be a few more months before this thing goes anywhere. There ain't much back here. This is just my clothes and I got a king-size bed. You know, I can, uh, I can get lost in this thing. It kind of fills up the whole room. I really wish it would have been a queen size. But underneath the bed is the motor. And there's a big box. So I really can't put a queen size bed in here. But it's, uh, it's good enough. There's, there's times I lay sideways, crossways, long ways, whatever. Just however to get in bed. Up here behind, this is where the old TV, when they had tube TVs back in the early of the mid 90s before flat screens came out. And inside there is where I have my uh, DVD player and some other junk. It makes a nice little storage place. 
It also has a lock here that if I want to put something in there, I guess I got it locked right now. So I got something in there I don't want anybody else to grab a hold of, which is hard to say. It could be money. It could be junk. It could be a pair of socks. I don't know. Wi-Fi reception for some reason ain't that great back in this. It's kind of hard to get the Wi-Fi through metal. There's another air conditioner back here. The original shelving that was here was taken down. They hung down to here while well, my head is there. Saves me headaches banging into them when I walk alongside the bed on either side. The only complaint I really had, which doesn't do me any good because I bought it and paid for it, was the first question out of my mouth with these young men that own this, does it have any leaks? And they said flat out, no. It has a rebuilt title because it was wrecked, but the leaks were fixed. A tree fell on the front part of the roof. Well, I brought it home and parked it here, and uh, the first night it rained, I had big puddles in the living room up there by the driver's seat, because yes, it leaked. You can see the dent right here on the edge. That's where the tree fell that uh, supposedly didn't leak until after I bought it. It's all fixed now up there, so it shouldn't leak no more. But I'm happy with this thing. It's, it's home now. It's home. I guess a guy's just got to make a little bit of changes as he decides what he's doing with his life when he's not really sure what he's doing. Uh, I'm just trying to make a go at being a, a retired old person and having a good time without having a bunch of worries and headaches and problems. And This seemed to be one way to go. I am a member in the Vietnam Vets Legacy Vets Motorcycle Club, which is starting to get very big, and I will be until the day they turn me back to dust. Ha <laughs> ha!